Second Lieutenant Josh Boylan began this Army-Navy week on a field artillery range in southwest Oklahoma. Ready, drop! This is where you learn how to operate a triple seven, 155 millimeter howitzer named Bobby. Drop. Boylan is a West Point grad, another link in the long gray line stretched across the globe. A year ago, he was 1,500 miles away in Philadelphia, a senior offensive guard playing in his final Army-Navy game. You're on the gridiron of gridirons. You're where great men have once walked. You're in America's game, and you have the opportunity and the honor of playing in that game for uh, your service brothers and sisters. Kick is up, and it is no good! Army has won the ball game! The Black Knights have defeated Navy! As tradition dictates, Navy sang its alma mater first, and the victorious Army team sang second. Have you ever won the lottery? Because that's the closest thing to seeing you second. Five months later, Boylan would sing it again, this time at the graduation and commissioning ceremony at West Point. I know we'll never forget the feeling of beating Navy for the first time in 15 years. Joshua and Boylan. 2018, <laughs> well and faithfully discharged. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. You leave West Point, but that game never leaves you. Your memory finds room for every moment, every teammate, even every opponent. I remember him. I blocked him. It's memories now. Good memories. I'll miss, I'll miss him. Boylan remembers Navy defensive end Tyler Sales. Check that. Newly commissioned Ensign Tyler Sales. Tyler W. Sales! Hit, hit! Man, I'm so happy to slip these on right now. <laughs> you leave Annapolis, but that game never leaves you. I'm a full-time student working to become a submarine officer. One of my teachers actually jabbed me a little bit today. He was like, are we going to beat Army this year? My answer is absolutely yes. The Army-Navy game is their North Star. It is what divides them and unites them. It is on their minds and in their hearts. I do have this game circled on the calendar particularly. I mean, aside from my focus on studying here, that's the, the one thing that goes through my mind, especially with the way the season's going. I just know that there's such an emphasis on this game, and I really feel for my brothers preparing for that. Today, December 8th, the calendar and the countdown clock take a breath. The North Star hovers over Philly. The first thing you hear when you step foot in Annapolis. The first words you hear as a plebe coming on to West Point. is beat Army. Beat Navy.